Good morning. Today we're going to continue praying through the Psalms, and I would like to ask you to join me as we pray Psalm 2 into our lives today. Father, I do pray and ask that as we read this psalm that you would bless us. In Christ Jesus' name. He begins, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me. Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, O you kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. <clears throat> Father, I do pray and ask that, Lord, I would not be as the heathen. I would not rage, nor would I get angry by your word, nor by your testimony, nor by your decrees. You've said that your commandments are not grievous to those that love you. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that I would have a love for you, for your will and your word in my life. I pray that I'd be an inspiration to those around me to turn to Christ. I pray that I would not imagine vain things, things that are empty or of no, no real worth. I pray that as I live my life, Heavenly Father, that I'd be living it for you, that it would have sustenance, that it would be worth something. So when I stand there at thy beam of seat, it would not be completely burned up with wood and hay and, and perishable things, but rather there would be gold and silver and precious gems for you, so I can lay those crowns at your feet. Father, the kings of the earth, <clears throat> the rulers, they have sat and take counsel against you. Lord, they don't like us to pray openly. They don't want us to speak about you in public places. But Father, I pray and ask that you would break the bands of society from us, that you would take away all their cords that they try to, to snare us with, the snares of the devil and how they try to change us. I pray and ask for myself and for my family that, Lord, you would separate us from these things of the earth, that we would not embrace the vain philosophies or the heathen ways, but rather we would set our hearts and our minds according to what you have spoken, according to your will for our lives, that your Holy Spirit would lead us. I pray because I know you do sit in the heavens, and, Lord, you shall laugh at them and have them in derision. They will run around and, and the fear will overtake them when they see who you truly are. Because you are returning. You are going to judge them. So Lord, I have set my heart upon you. You are my king, sitting in the holy hill of Zion. I pray and ask that, Lord Jesus Christ, that I would surrender myself completely to you this day. And that I'd be able to influence others. To turn away from the world. To believe in you. To reverence you to give you the majesty, the glory, and the honor that is due your name and your name only. Lord, you have been decreed, the Father has said that you are his son, his only son, and he has begotten you, and you, you've been given the heathen for an inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth. All things are yours, there is nothing that is not under your control. I thank you that you are a sovereign God and I can trust in you, that I can rest in you because you have all power, all glory, as you said, all power is in your hands in Matthew 28. You've told us to go forth to make disciples, to not fear what man can do, to ask of you anything and that, Lord, you'll do it. I pray that you would help me to be wise, that, Lord, I would not be as those that you judge who are going to be dashed with an iron rod. They are going to be broken. They are going to be broken and bound and cast into an eternal fire, a place called Guiana, the third hell. Lord, I ask this day that you grant me wisdom so I know how to serve you in your will and according to your Holy Spirit's leading. I pray that you would instruct me with your wisdom and with your knowledge, 
that I have a reverence and a fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge, the beginning of wisdom. Lord, let me kiss you with my lips. Let my heart embrace you. I don't want to perish from the way. I want to be prepared for you and your kingdom. Because you are a God that, that loves mankind, but your wrath sits over those who have rejected you. Blessed are all they that put their trust in you. Lord, I pray this day that I would put my trust in you, that those praying with me would put their trust in you, and we'd be blessed as a result. It's in Christ Jesus' name I thank you for hearing our prayers filling us with your Holy Spirit, surrounding us with it. In Christ's name we do pray. Amen.